Curious about what Waikiki looks like right now? As part of our Waikiki Now series, we're showing you what Waikiki looks like right now. In today's video, we are taking a narrated walking tour of parts of Waikiki. We're doing everything in real time so you can see what's in the surrounding area close to your Airbnb or hotel if you're staying in Waikiki. Now, if you're staying in Waikiki, that means you're staying in Honolulu on the island of Oahu. And if it's your first time to the islands, this is a great option to check out different places within the Waikiki area. I'll also leave links in the description box below for other narrated tours that we've done to show you where to stay, places to eat, and things to do in the Waikiki area. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Aloha, I'm Miriam and this is Yes to Hawaii. We make Hawaii videos take the guesswork out of planning your trip. All right, we're gonna start our walk here. We're here at the intersection of Kalakaua Avenue and Luer Street. And the street we're gonna be walking down is Luer Street. It's also known as the Waikiki Beach Walk, not to be confused with Beach Walk Avenue, which is one street over. We'll be walking by there as well. Waikiki Beach Walk on the right hand side is a shopping complex and a few other spots in the area. On our left hand side here is the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. There's also a P.F. Chang's and a Starbucks. This Starbucks is one of the few ones that opens really, really early. Most will open around 5. This one I believe opens closer to 4.30. There's also a First Hawaiian Bank on the right hand side. This might be good for my international guests if you're looking to get money exchanged. And then here is the Hokulani Hotel as well. Now the Hokulani Hotel is not to be confused with the Hale Kulani Hotel, which is a little bit farther down, which will pass by there as well. So in this area, a few other places. On the left-hand side is Tarmina's, which is a Sicilian restaurant. Over here on the right-hand side is another ABC store. If you haven't been to one before, the ABC stores will have sunscreen, sundries, food, snacks, t-shirts, towels, and so forth. There's also Poke Bar here, crazy shirts. Nahoku, which is a jewelry store. And the left-hand side over here is the Wyndham Waikiki Beach Walk location. Not to be confused with the Wyndham Royal Garden, which is over um, about three blocks from here. There's also a gallery. A bit farther down, we've got Yard House Restaurant on the ground floor, and there's also Ruth's Chris Steakhouse on the second floor as well. There's some smaller boutiques if you want to grab some clothing. There's also Nalu Health Bar. Really good spot for acai bowls. And then this is a bit of a directory. So this just shows the Waikiki Beach Walk shopping complex and we're just here. We started our walk over here, the intersection of Kalakaua Avenue and Luer Street. We just walked this way and we're just here. On my right is Mahina. This is a cute local boutique if you're looking to get more Aloha print attire. Some of the prints are a little bit more muted, which is nice. There's a kids clothing store here. And then on the ground level again, Yard House. Second floor is gonna have a Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. On the opposite side on the left, there's a Giovanni Pastrami's, which is a sports bar. There's Honolulu Cookie Company. There's a Musubi Cafe. And there's also a clothing store as well. On our left-hand side is the Imperial Hawaii Resort. There's also an ABC store there. This is one of the larger ABC stores. There's a deli in the back of the ABC store. Um, the other larger ABC store is the one at the International Marketplace. On the left-hand side, part of the Imperial Hawaii Resort is also a Denny's Diner. And then on my right-hand side over here is the Embassy Suites and there's Big Wave Dave Surf and Coffee. And then just up ahead of us is the Hale Kulani Hotel. So again, not to be confused with the Hokulani Hotel that we just saw at the very beginning of the walking tour. If you're curious about the Hale Kulani Hotel and any of the other oceanfront properties, I'll leave a link in the description box below. We've done walking tours for the oceanfront properties along Waikiki. On my right hand side is Roy's. And then this street coming up ahead is the intersection of Luer Street and Kalia Road. So Roy's on the right hand side open for dinner. On the left hand side over here is the Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort and they also have a Starbucks on property. 
In the very back of the hotel is the restaurant Monkey Pod, really delicious Mai Tais. So the Outrigger Reef property is the sister property to the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort. Those two are often um, confused, especially if you're coming in from the airport and you just type in Outrigger. Sometimes it will take you to the Outrigger Reef, sometimes the Outrigger Waikiki, especially if you're taking an Uber or Lyft. This one is Outrigger Reef and it's 2169 Kalia Road. The opposite property is on Kalakaua Avenue, 2335 Kalakaua Avenue. On my right hand side is Beachwalk Cafe. And then just to show you a little bit of the menu. So we've got sandwiches, bagels, acai bowls, tea and coffee. And then coming up ahead here on the right hand side is the Trump Hotel. So we're going to walk down this street here. This is Beachwalk. The street we were just on is Lure Street. And then after this, we're going to go back down Kalakaua and come down Saratoga Road. This is the Embassy Suites Hotel. So as you can tell, it's a lot quieter on this side of Waigiki. Um, Kalakaua Avenue, which is the street just up ahead, that is the main street. But once you get just a little bit farther from it, it's a lot quieter. And then from here, we're, I want to say maybe a two minute walk to the beach. The Outrigger Reef property that I mentioned earlier in the Halekalani Hotel that I mentioned earlier, those are two oceanfront properties. The Halekalani spans over five acres. The Outrigger Reef is, in, is also oceanfront as well. Just to the right of the Outrigger Reef Hotel is the Halekoa Hotel and the Fort Jerusi Park. They also have pickleball courts. And then on the left hand side over here, there is a small tea shop and Henry's Place if you want to grab some fresh fruit or quick snacks. So just for a point of interest or point of reference, excuse me, the building just up ahead on the left hand side, I just drew a blank, I forgot what that property was, the Ritz. <laughs> I was like the, the, mm, yep, the Ritz. <laughs> the Ritz is that property. The tall building there and then the blue building closer to us on the right hand side is the Bank of Hawaii building. So this street coming up ahead here is Kalakaua Avenue. And just to point out a few other shops, on the right hand side we have Arginos for pizza and pasta. A few other restaurants, an ABC store. Then of course the Bank of Hawaii building. The Bank of Hawaii building on their ground floor, they have Longs. Longs is open 24-7. They also have a pharmacy inside, as well as some sundries, a few items that you might need, toiletries. Um, but what's nice about it is the ABC stores are going to typically open until 10 or 11. The Longs is 24-7, so if you do arrive late night or if you needed some over-the-counter medication or something like that, the Longs would be the place to go to if you wanted to stay within Waikiki. On the right-hand side of here, a smaller restaurant. And again, this is the Bank of Hawaii Center. On the left hand side of here, a couple other restaurants. There's also Hard Rock Cafe. And then on the far left hand side is the Tommy Bahamas restaurant. There's also a clothing store on the ground floor, but the restaurant is on the third floor. Coming up ahead at this intersection is the intersection of Kalakaua Avenue and Beachwalk Avenue. You can hear some of the music that's playing right now from Hard Rock Cafe. Not sure if you can hear it, but this mic tends to pick up just about everything, so you guys might get to hear a little bit of it. And then just right across from us on Kalakaua Avenue are a few other smaller shops. There's Hawaii Beach, we're in fashion, Oakley. Some smaller souvenir shops, another ABC store, and then a few luxury stores over here. There's a tattoo shop, Skin Deep, there's Gucci, and then a few other luxury stores right over there. And then we'll cross at this crosswalk just here. On the left-hand side, there's a few smaller shops. There's Rama and Nakamura. Right now, there isn't a long line, but typically in the evenings, they do have a pretty long line, um, but the line does move pretty quickly. And then this property here is the Polynesian Residences. A lot of smaller shops on the ground level. And then the Ritz over here on the right-hand side. The intersection that's coming up right ahead of us is the intersection of Kalakaua Avenue and Saratoga Road. 
Some of these shops have closed. Over here on the left, we have a small souvenir shop and a small clothing shop. And then just right across the street from us to point out a few other places, the Gucci store that I mentioned earlier, there's a Chanel, a Miu Miu. And then if you were to go to the Ritz property, um, you would actually turn right at that turn just over there. And there's also the cafe Dean and DeLuca. Really good pastries and coffee. A small cafe just here. And then this street that we're about to walk down is the intersection again of Calacaba Avenue and Saratoga Road. So we'll turn just this way. I'll point out a few other places. So just to recap the walking lap we've done, we've gone down Lure Street to the Outrigger Reef. We've come up Beachwalk Avenue and we're zigzagging back down Saratoga Road. Oh, this is one of my favorite restaurants, Castro's. They have really, really good French toast, super delicious. They're open from 7 a.m. to 2. On the right-hand side is the post office, the Waikiki Station. On the left-hand side is Eggs and Things. There's another Eggs and Things location on Kalakawa Avenue as part of the Waikiki Circle Hotel. So again, post office on our right-hand side. On the left-hand side is a small dive bar, Arnold's. And then this is the back parking lot area of the Hard Rock Cafe that we talked about earlier in the video. Kalakawa Avenue is the main street that's here in Waikiki. That's typically the street that if there's any block festivals or block parties or events, um, the road closures will typically start at Seaside Avenue and they'll go all the way to Ulunyu Avenue, which is right by the Hyatt Regency Waikiki property. This area to the right hand side is also a lot of public parking. And then just down at the very end of the street is the Outrigger Reef property on the left hand side and the Waikiki Shore condos on the right hand side. And that is where the beach is, oceanfront. So from here, another couple minutes. At the Waikiki Shore property, they also have Steak Shack, one of my favorite grab-and-go places. Really good portions, steak, rice, salad, pretty tasty. I think the smallest is a six ounce, and they go all the way up to 14 ounce. Along Waikiki, you'll see a lot of those turquoise bicycles, the Beaky bicycles. So those you can rent um, from the actual kiosks themselves. On my left-hand side here is the Breakers Hotel. And those are those kiosks that I mentioned earlier in the video, the Beaky Bike Stations. I believe they charge $4 or $5 for 30 minutes, or you can buy an allotment of minutes, such so as four hours, and use it throughout your stay. You can get one bike from one station and then ride it to another station. And then over there as well, there's that parking lot that I mentioned earlier. And then from here, you can also, again, go right down this path and you'll hit the beach. On my left-hand side is the Trump Hotel. And there's also a steakhouse on the ground level. So directly in front of me is the Waikiki Shore property. So this video again is part of the Waikiki Now series. We've done walks throughout Waikiki. We've done a walk down Kalakaua Avenue, a walk down Kuhio Avenue, and just kind of zigzagging throughout the Waikiki area just to show you different points of interest places to stay, where to eat, and again, just to help you get acquainted with the Waikiki area before you actually do arrive to the islands. If you've been here before, feel free to comment down below any of your favorite places to eat or places to stay. And I mentioned throughout the video the street names, but I've also tried to mention the restaurants as well, just because if it's your first time coming to Waikiki, a lot of the street names can sound quite similar. Whereas if you're used to a chain restaurant, for example, um, like a Starbucks, or a, a chain cafe like Starbucks, it's easier to spot versus the street names, but I've done my best to actually include both. So we'll go ahead and cross here. And then just to my right hand side is the Fort Derussi um, park area. And the US Army Museum of Hawaii is on the left hand side. On this one-page planner, you have everything that you need where you can jot down your details for your hotel, rental car, tours and activities, things that you want to do, and a general itinerary.